This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries. So if you did not see my um, past videos, you should probably go back and watch them because I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently here. I'm going to be doing general reads from now on, no more love reads, <laughs> taking a break from love. I put up a community voting poll on my community tab and the votes came back um, unanimously. <laughs> that, is that a word? <laughs> that um, everyone wanted general reads, not love reads for now. So until further notice, this is not going to be a love read. It's gonna be a general read. It'll be a timeless read. Whenever you find it, it's for you. All right. Um, but I will be focusing on the energy of December and welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Let's dive right in for Aries. All right. The first deck that I'm going to be using is the Dragon Tarot. Okay. I feel like there's not enough room for me right here. <laughs> my camera is awful close to me. All right. I go ahead and welcome in. All of my guides, Aries guides, the ones that watch me, Archangel Michael. My ancestors and star family. Let's rock it out, guys. What does Aries need to know for December? What is the message you have for our beautiful fire sign Aries for December, please? Aries for December. Five of Wands. What is going on with that, Aries? Page of Wands. There is a lot of fire energy here, Aries. Doesn't surprise me. You are a fire sign. But why do we have so much conflict going on right now? Whoa. The world. Okay. I think you need to be a little bit patient, Aries, okay? I love you. I'm only going to give you um, the advice as I hear it, okay? So don't shoot the messenger. I think you need to have a little bit of patience, okay? Because the world shows me that you are completing a huge cycle, Aries. Huge, huge, huge. And it hasn't been easy, right? There's been a lot of fighting, um, mainly with yourself, okay? There could be another person here that was where we have some conflict with. The Page of Wands shows me that you might have another younger fire sign that is watching you. Um, that could have something to do with the conflict, okay? Tell me more about the Five of Wands, please. So I'm going to pull a little bit of clarifiers here. Tell me about the Five of Wands, please. This one? Whoa, the devil. Okay, Aries. So the conflict here is showing me that you're basically just fighting your own demons. You're fighting yourself. There's something... There's some kind of inner conflict going on right now inside of you. Um, it's not like a literal demon, so don't freak out. <laughs> the devil represents, you know, inner demons that we are fighting. Our own shadows, our own vices, our own um, temptations, and things that we know are not good for us, possibly. Our own vices, our own um, limited beliefs, our own patterns that we repeat over and over again, even though we might we might know that they're not good for us, right? So 
There's something you, you've been trying to battle, okay? Tell me a little bit about the Page of Wands here, please, Spirit. <clears throat> Why do we have the Page of Wands here for Aries? Tell me about the Page of Wands, please. Ooh, okay, that came out quick. Eight of Cups. So it, it feels like there is someone possibly, let me get a little bit more off this card. Let me just. Okay, this could be definitely a, a younger fire sign. Um, I don't know if it's male or female, but they are a masculine energy on here. Um, this was someone that you thought you had some growth with. You thought you had, um, it feels like a romantic relationship. It doesn't have to be, but it feels like this person um, stabbed you in the back. There's like this energy of like news, you know, there's like, if you look here on this card, there is like newspapers here, like scrolls. So to me, this is telling me that someone was like gossiping about you possibly behind your back. Um, there has been a little bit of growth on their end, but not enough to sustain whatever friendship or relationship that you guys had. And basically, you just dis decided to walk away. The Eight of Cups shows me that you're done. <laughs> you're like, no, this is not serving me. You know, this person is bringing out um, the worst in me. They're bringing out my demons. They're bringing out my conflicts, right? And it just created a lot of turmoil for you, Aries. And so in the, in the long run, I think you made the right decision, okay? And that shows me that once all of that, the dust sort of settles from that, look, we have the world card, which is this energy of like, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I was trying to figure out why it wasn't bright and I had my blue light filter on. Okay, so at once the dust settles, Aries, you have a lot of beautiful blessings coming in, right? But you have to conquer these inner demons first, right? Once this painful lesson sort of runs its course, the world is one of the greatest things that you can expect to happen in your life, right? It's a whole bunch of blessings that are just going to hit all at once, okay? But, yes, we have to fight off. Yes, see, look what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the world and we have the sun. So you got to let this cycle run its course. And we got the world, which is a bunch of blessings. And we have the sun, which is also happiness and joy. So, Okay, so I'm going to, let's see, what, what deck should we move on to? Um, I'll get a spirits card for you and see what spirits advice is for you in regards to this um, inner battle that you have been fighting, Aries. Okay, what else advice do we have for Aries, please? Two cards for spirit, please. So we have number 40 at days and rest. I find peace in nature and I rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. So see, you, you are connected to spirit, Aries. <clears throat> you don't even need to tune into my readings. <laughs> I'm glad that you do. But, you know, number 40, that's number four, which shows me that you have so many angels guiding you. That's an angel number right there, okay? And at the end of the day, your spirits are saying you know how to connect with them. Now, whether that be through meditation or just through prayer or however you decide is right for you, Aries, and how you talk to spirit, they speak to you. And so you receive the messages loud and clear, okay? Okay. Now, some of you, this means literally going out in nature and meditating and connecting with spirit. But if it's, you know, it is a little cold, so that's not for everyone. 
just even going outside for just a minute just to get some fresh air is going to help your spirit. All right, so we have number seven, sacred space. I find peace. This is two times it says I find peace. This is the second card that says I find peace, okay? So you're finding your peace right now, Aries. I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. Wow, again, another card about going in nature. Now, if you go out in nature and you're in Michigan, it's not going to look like this or like this. It's going to be icy cold, right? If there's no snow or there's no ice, it's it's still going to be cold. You're going to go outside. You're probably going to see your breath. Um, but like I said, even finding just a moment to step outside and to bring yourself some inner peace. Here's the thing, Aries. Um, this is going to sound crazy, but if you go outside barefoot for just a second, let your feet touch the earth. You can even do this in the snow. I did this in the winter to ground myself. I would go out there with bare feet, put my feet in the snow for about two minutes, sit there and ground to the earth, and then run back inside. And it also invigorates you. And if you suffer from depression, this is going to be an amazing thing that you can do that will knock that depression right on its ass, okay? I need to clean my every day I'm hustling plaque. I just cleaned it. I swear. It's so funny. All right, so that is the advice from spirits. Um, what shall we do now? Uh, let's see. Why don't we get some more tarot cards for you and advice? We're going to do a power of love card for you after that. And um, then we're going to do um, a career card from the Abundance Angels. And we're going to wrap this reading up. These are going to be short and sweet. All right. What other? What else do you see coming up for Aries in the month of December? <clears throat> Big hugs to you, Aries. Fighting off those inner demons and shadows are not easy. Believe me. I have been doing it myself all month. And it has not been easy. Oh, my gosh. There was days I felt like I was dying. All right, what else do we have for Aries? What else is coming up for Aries for December? Okay, Page of Pentacles. So you probably have a little bit of extra money coming in. Not a lot, but there's fruit on here. So I do see some fruitful endeavors here. Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay, so this little extra cash is going to be a little bit of happiness coming in with it too. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. <laughs> we got Ten of Cups. That's the Happy Family card, right? It's also the Happiness card. Ten of Swords. That is the most conflicting energy I've ever seen in my life. How do we go from like 10 of cups, which is happiness, to 10 of swords, which is like <laughs> feeling like, you know, at the end of your rope, it's like hitting rock bottom. What? Maybe it could be like you're pulling yourself up out of that rock bottom, right? I don't know. Let's see what the next card is. Oh, the tower. Wow. I don't know. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the Tower, please. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the Tower, please. Let's get some clarifiers for Aries. Why do we have Ten of Swords in Tower? Is that Four of Wands? No. Six of Wands. Okay, so the tower is about something being undone, something being torn down, um, something that needs to be rebuilt, right? And then with the Ten of Swords, it might feel... It might feel 
like at first like you don't understand what's happening right so we have page of pentacles and ten of cups so there is something happening in december which is going to bring you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness right at the same time it's going to happen um where something else is going to happen in between that time that maybe in order to get to this ton of cups something else has to be taken away if that makes sense so you might gain something really amazing but in order to gain that something else has to die away in your life so when we're in the midst of these moments where where we have a tower moment and you know, the tower card, if you look at it, it's really scary, right? It's two people falling out of a castle. They're struck by lightning. But the whole thing about the tower is it's something that happens that redirects our attention, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It's just something that shakes us to our core, something we're not expecting, right? And it happens and we go, why is that happening right now? And it feels like this, almost like you're being stabbed in the back. And I see already that you've already had a problem with someone. It, it felt like they were not giving you the reciprocated energy that you deserve, Aries, right? So while we have this beautiful joy coming in, there is something that holds the key in this tower moment and in this feeling of betrayal. It's a key to opening this Ten of Cups. See how they're holding the key? Right? And then we have the Six of Wands. Now, this is about public recognition and fame. So, if there is something that you've been working towards, Aries, um, something job related or, you know, something that you really were hoping to get some kind of recognition for, it's on the way. There's going to be a little bit of bumps along the road, but trust the process that all of these tower moments and lessons that we have that might feel not so good in the moment, it's all about how we perceive things, right? If you can try to hold on to the idea that everything happens for your highest good, anything that is a redirection, anything that is um, any type of rejection or redirection or, you know, a friend leaving your life, it's because they weren't that thing or that person wasn't meant to be there because you have greater things coming. You have this and you have fame and fortune. Now, if some of you are hoping to be in the public spotlight and you're doing some kind of career like acting or music where you're hoping to get famous, you will achieve that, Aries. That's what this is showing me. Now, if you're looking for something in regards to career, like a raise at work or, you know, more income for those of you who are entrepreneurs, you're also going to get that. The Six of Wands shows me success in whatever it is you're trying to achieve, Aries. Okay, so let's get one final card for Aries. What is the last final message you want me to give to Aries about this whole situation and I put those cards back in there because I don't know if they're going to come out again or not what is the final advice that you want to give to Aries about this situation please okay we have the king of swords so Aries, this is, ooh, it was 1919 on my camera. This is your advice from spirit. Try to look at things from a logical point of view, okay? Try to analyze when these things happen, exactly how it makes you feel. Try to analyze why you perceive these things are happening, why you're having these lessons, what it pertains to, what you're learning, right? Right? And if possible, try to remain strong in your boundaries, okay? So if, if someone or something 
comes up and it doesn't feel right for you, Aries, make sure you set up that strong boundary and be cunning like this fox and be wise, okay? And use your judgment, okay? Okay, so there's that. We are going to pull a power of love card for you and then we'll pull a career card for you and we're going to wrap this reading up, Aries. You have a lots of wonderful things coming in. All right. What is the power of love activation card we have for Aries? Self-love. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. All right, beautiful Aries. So keep working on that beautiful self-love. It says you do realize that love of self is necessary to love, love another. So that shows me that you're working on your self-love. And that means your self-love A game is on point, Aries. Okay, you are on the right path. And the more that you love yourself, the more that people will love you. And we know Aries loves to be loved as all fire signs do. And you deserve to be loved, Aries. You deserve to be loved properly. And the way that that's going to happen very quickly is by loving yourself. You know, adoring yourself. So then, then everyone else will follow suit. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see. What is the career advice you have for Aries? What is the career advice we have for Aries? We'll do two cards. So for those that are entrepreneurs, let's get the card for them first. For those that are entrepreneurs, what is the advice for them? All right, and then for those that work a nine to five or work for someone else, what is the advice for them? What is the advice for the Aries that work for someone else or work a nine to five? All right. Okay. So for those of you who are entrepreneurs, right? Oh man, I got to turn this off. Sorry, guys. Okay. Okay, so we have abundance mindset right there. The universe wants you to focus on being abundant <laughs> because you are. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it'll always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something that you already have in this present moment, and that is what you'll experience. So focus on what you're grateful for. Focus on that money, honey, okay? Focus on feeling it, seeing it, living it, breathing it, eating it, Aries. And for those of you that are entrepreneurs, watch the money just flow right in. Now, for those of you who work a nine to five or work for someone else, we have quiet retreats. Spirit is saying it's time to take a break, Aries. <laughs> it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. So it's time to disconnect in order to find the next great um, energy push for your job okay but you're not gonna be able to do that if you do not rest and give yourself bo your body time to recover so because you have been working so hard haven't you Aries all right if something resonated please smash that like button for me and do give me your comments I love to read your guys's comments okay share with all your Aries friends um you know sharing liking subscribing all of those are free and all of those 
really help to support my channel. So I really, really appreciate when you do um, all of those things, Aries. If you want to book a reading with me, just go ahead and click in the description box below. All of my prices are there, all the readings that I offer. Click on the Goldie appointment fix. Um, and then you might need to message me on Instagram or drop your email so that I can contact you about your reading and payments. Um, for those of you that have already booked readings, I've already got one out. And um, if, if I owe you a reading, then just be patient. Those are coming as well. For all of you who have already purchased readings, thank you so much. I love you. Bye, Aries.